So I get a lot of questions on the range about what kind of trigger I use. And quite honestly, I mean, the trigger that's in most of my guns is the VTAC truss trigger. That's that trigger right there. That's made by Trigger Tech for us. That's a single stage trigger. The other trigger that they do for us is also a single stage, but that's got a curved trigger shoe. So if that's what you want, that's another single stage trigger. But we get a lot of questions about why I would use a single stage versus a two stage trigger. Now in the military, a lot of these triggers that are issued are two stage triggers. The reason I'm not a big fan of the two stage is because, and I, let, let, me, let me categorize that. I'm not a big fan of the two stage in my carbines because with my carbine, I feel like I want to shoot fast. And when I get on the trigger, I want to fire the round. I don't want to have a squishy trigger to a wall and then the rest of that trigger pull. Okay, that being said, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a two stage. I'm just saying that my preference uh, in anybody that tries to shoot rather quickly, they're going to have a single stage trigger in their gun. And there's a bunch of them out there. We did this one with uh, Trigger Tech. It's an awesome trigger. So you should check that out. If you decide you're going to put a two stage in your gun, I would make sure that you understand that not all two stages are created equal either. There's one brand out there that's very, very popular. Uh, I used to use their triggers. I've stopped using them because I had a lot of doubling as I was firing. And what I'm hearing now is a lot of the special operations guys are having those triggers break. And now they're, they're looking at some of the other triggers on the market. One of those triggers that I, I do like, and I, have, I don't have an association with LaRue. Um, I know Mark LaRue and I, I've had LaRue products in the past, but LaRue makes a, a trigger Drop parts on the floor. Pretty awesome video there. Um, LaRue makes this trigger and it's called the MBT, the Meticulously Built Trigger. So it comes in this handy dandy little, looks like a Copenhagen can. It's a little bit bigger than that. Maybe like an old firing system can or something, but it's a very reliable two-stage trigger. The other thing I like about this trigger, I believe it's made out of D2 tool steel. So it's really a strong trigger. It's not mimmed. It's not cast. It's a, it's a really, really nice trigger. The other thing that's cool about it, this one actually comes with an extra spring. So if you wanna put a heavier trigger spring in there, you can do that. You can, if I hold this up close, you should be able to see kind of what the parts look like on that trigger. This is a reliable trigger. I've got the straight trigger versus the curved trigger. The other thing that's nice about this trigger is it's about, it's less than half the cost of the famous competitor of theirs, and it's it's much more reliable. So I don't have a cat in that game as far as these two triggers, but I would prefer if you bought the single stages from us here, the both VTAC triggers. Okay, I also get questions about why I like the flat trigger. If you look at that, you can actually see there's a slight bump on the end of that trigger, just as a reference so you know right where the end of the trigger is. So if you're using a flat trigger, the advantage of that is I can slide my finger farther down the trigger and get more leverage, which more leverage makes a lighter feeling trigger. If I go up higher, you lose that feel. Down lower, I can get that feel. So if I'm trying to make an accurate shot, I can slide my finger down on that. I guess you'd call it the, sh the trigger shoe, even though it's not really a shoe there. But the, the bow of that trigger or the, the leg of that trigger, I can slide my finger down and get in that position there. So from this side, it would look something like that. If you have a curved trigger, you try to do that, where are you gonna go? You're gonna end up out on the edge of the trigger, which that would probably also work. The problem I run into there is a lot of times I shoot with gloves and then I end up with my gloves stuck underneath of the trigger if you're trying to shoot fast that way. But usually that's for accuracy anyway. This allows you to get a little bit farther to the end of the trigger. So once again, Single stage versus two stage. If I was gonna, well, I shouldn't say if I was going to, I actually have in my longer range setups. So if I have a 6.5 or a six millimeter uh, 308 AR, then I like to have the two stage trigger in that gun. The reason for that is, it is a, it's considered more of a sniper type system. Now I can prep the trigger a little bit and then I get that, get that break there. I still don't mind shooting this flat trigger, though. This trigger has very, very little reset. 
it's it's a really really nice trigger so that's the reason i like the single stage nothing wrong with the two stage it's all personal preference but if you think about as you're firing that weapon single stage i pull back the gun goes off i release the disconnector clicks i pull back the gun goes off and so on if i got a two stage i've got that mushiness there that i've got to overcome before i get to the point where the trigger actually breaks some people would say it doesn't really matter but if you're trying to shoot fast, I think you'll if you look at anybody that's shooting fast, their guns are going to have, they're probably going to have a single stage trigger in them. If you start to look at some of the uh, the other pistols out there as well, 1911s. That's why we like the 1911 trigger. It's a single stage trigger. It's not a revolver type trigger. Not that these are revolver triggers, but you get the idea. Two stage, single stage. I'm a single stage guy until some magical two stage comes out. If I was gonna buy one right now, I'd definitely buy the LaRue. Pretty sweet setup, but these are what's in my guns. That's the VTAC triggers, and those are both single stage with the curve straight. I like the truss trigger, it looks cool, and it works really well. I didn't want this to be an advertisement, but that's what I use in my guns. You guys ask the questions, I'm just answering them and uh, get out there and shoot whichever trigger system you have, try it. One thing I do wanna go back to on that, on that two stage. The two stage, one of the reasons I got away from the one that we talked about, I was having a lot of doubling. I had to change my shooting style because of the trigger and it was not the LaRue trigger, it was a different trigger. I had to change my shooting style if I was shooting junkyard prone over the hood of a car where I don't have the buttstock to my shoulder. It's a combat shooting position, and then I'd start to have some issues with doubling. I had to ch absolutely change the way I shot because of that trigger. That's not good. So I got rid of that trigger. Uh, initially, we worked with Christensen Arms on a trigger, and that evolved into the Trigger Tech trigger, which Christensen Arms worked with them, and now we're working with Trigger Tech. So that's kind of the story behind that whole, that whole story there. If you don't like doubling, and that had nothing to do with it being a two-stage. It had everything to do with that particular brand of trigger. And uh, if you use this LaRue as a two-stage, you won't have that issue. Or once again, use that single stage. That's all I've got. Send your comments to Lam, L-A-M-B, at bikingtactics.com. I know this is kind of a weird video, but hey, you ask the questions. I'm just answering them. We will definitely see you on the range. Have a good one.